Hi, I'm Casey from Monarch Watch, and I'll show you how you can use the Monarch Watch app. The first thing you should do when you open up the app is create your profile. I've already created my profile, but you can click the three bars and click My Profile. You can edit your profile at any time, just be sure to click Save. You must have a complete profile before you can start tagging. Once you've done that, click Submit your tagging data and you're ready to get started. However, before you start tagging, you should first scan your tags. Click Scan Sheets and then click either Camera or Photos to upload a photo you've already taken. By doing this, you're telling your phone exactly which tags you have. Be sure to crop the photo afterwards so that the phone has an easier time of telling what is a tag and what is background. Now you have a full list of all of the tags you have. Click back and you can select which tags you want to use by clicking the scan the list button. I'll be using AEYW525, so I'll select that and click done. The camera and photos button out here or if you want to take a photo or upload a photo of one tag only. Now that you've filled out the tag information, you want to check your butterfly. This butterfly is a male butterfly because it has two small black pouches on its hind wing. So on the app, I'll select male. I raised this butterfly, so I'll select reared. You only select wild if you caught the butterfly in its adult form. Now that you've filled out the butterfly's information, you can go ahead and tag your monarch. Carefully peel off the sticker from the sheet while minimizing your contact with the adhesive. By doing this, you ensure that the sticker has a higher chance of staying on the monarch during the journey. Place the tag on the mitten-shaped discal cell on its hind wing. Press firmly for a few seconds to ensure that it sticks. Once you've done that, double check to make sure that the monarch information and tag information are correct, as well as the tagging location and date, and you're ready to submit. To submit, all you have to do is click the submit button. If you don't have internet access, however, you can click submit later and your information will be saved. Just remember to click my log and click submit once you do have internet access.